Distinguished for her piercing intellect and towering achievements, Lala Fatima courageously stood up to the might of the French army during Algeria's most difficult era and is remembered today as a national hero. Born in the year 1830, the year in which the French colonial powers landed in Algeria, Fatima Sid Ahmed grew up under her father's loving shadow insisting on attending his Qur'an classes where she memorized the entire Qur'an by heart. As a teenager, Lala Fatma refused the marriage proposal, preferring instead to continue her education, making her a well-known intellectual in her hometown and far beyond. In the year 1854, Lala Fatma joined the Algerian resistance against General Rondon in the Battle of Azagza which resulted in a humiliating defeat for the French invading forces. Lala Fatima rallied troops and mobilized volunteers, both men and women, in order to defend Algeria from the renewed French assault. The French called for a ceasefire that same year, but betrayed the truce in 1857. Outnumbered and outgunned, Lala Fatima's army lost to the French forces, Many of her soldiers died on the battlefield, but she was taken as a war prisoner. In 1863, having succumbed under the effects of ill health and incarceration, she died aged 33 years old. In 1994, her remains were exhumed from the cemetery of Sidi Abdullah in Turtatin and interred in the Square of Martyrs in Al Aliya Cemetery.